didn't know there was a campus here in Milk Keynes, that the Open University yeah. had a campus. So it was a bit of a sort of revelation to come down and it was a sunny day like today, mm. which probably helped. But um, <laughs> I remember coming for my interview and I was a bit early, so I sat, I sat under some trees, I remember, and just sort of was, it was calm and tranquil and mm. quiet. I, I had a very similar feeling when I, I came here kind of during the summer and then seeing the, the, like, the physical space and the actual campus of the Open University was not what I expected. I've always been in kind of a more traditional setting and then it actually felt really nice and the immediate like contact that I had with um, my supervisors as well as um, fellow colleagues, it was just, it was a very like mature environment but kind of also very open and flexible. For me, coming to the Open University was a bit of a curveball and my friends reacted um, in that way when I told them that I was coming here because I come from a fairly traditional academic background and uh, I'd wanted to do a PhD for a while but taken some time out to think about what I might do and I chose to come here and I'm so glad I did. It's proved to me that it's really open to really different backgrounds. It's genuinely, genuinely part of what I love about being here because our end result is almost identical but our starting places mm. are probably very, very removed from each other. I went to a particularly not very nice education establishment where double not getting beaten up on a Wednesday afternoon was my favourite lesson. So I left education and I worked for myself for, for, for 20 plus years. I love being a PhD student. I love being around people who love to learn and yeah. to do the research, I think it is a fantastic community to be part of. For me, it's just been such an experience. I think meeting other students from other parts of the world. So in my department and in our area, for example, we've got students from um, Bangladesh, India, the Czech Republic, Kenya, Nepal, uh, myself, you know, I came from Nigeria through Canada somewhat. You have such diversity. Um, of experiences and, uh, and of thoughts and of ideas that really, really contribute to whatever work it is you're doing. So I think that's really kind of another beauty of the OU because you're not kind of distracted by maybe like the undergraduates, which is not always a, necessarily a bad <laughs> thing, but you know, you're like, you're really focused with, with peers at kind of your level and you understand what you guys are going through. I think the peer group where you now can have those um, intellectual conversations with, with academics who may be working on something similar to, to your area of work and with, you, know, you can even ask them questions about, about the particular work and I think it exposes you to you know, new ideas or other ideas within the, within the discipline that, that can inform your, your work. I think the fact that you are, you are on campus, you, know, is, mm -hmm. you are all here, mm -hmm. you can make those things a bit more easily, you've got access to those people because they, yeah. they're not running around giving lectures to undergraduates all the time. Um, yeah. So that's a big advantage as well. And so yeah, I think you're exactly right. There are, there are just those opportunities to, to link across different areas. And my first day here, I walked into the lab and there's a board on the lab and the lab currently has, I think it's 81 people from 23 countries mm -hmm. who speak 17 different mm -hmm. languages and about 10% of those are PhD students. Mm -hmm. It took me, I would imagine, a year to 18 months to get over the terror of the supervision meeting and realising that it wasn't a teacher sitting there mm, yeah. with a big red pen ready to go wrong, wrong. It was an actual, a collaborative developmental process yeah. with your supervisor. And alongside that, then you have the other PhD students in STEM, because there are massive highs, there are massive lows. And yeah. I, I know there are some bits of this that I, I don't think I would have got through without the support of both the, the supervisor and the rest of the faculty. And I think that, that you know, we are on a journey together and it's, um, it's supportive, it's friendly and it's mm -hmm. very um, non-competitive, which is the mm. key thing. I think yeah. I know of some universities where it, it does seem like it's a rivalry. So if you kind of look at the, the OU and kind of their history and, and what, they, what they stand for in terms of you know, open access and really believing that education is for everyone, I think they still hold so true to that, to that mentality. Um, and, and you see it kind of manifest in, in the PhD um, groups because, you know, like you said, it's just, it's, it's so different. And, and even international students that come in, they, they just feel welcomed because at the, at the end of it, they value people who are passionate about learning. Yeah, so for me, the main reason I think that I would recommend other students come to, to the Open University would be probably because of the flexibility and just having, um, 
you know, you, you can be on campus all the time, you can be off campus. So just, yeah, for me, that flexibility has been a massive thing and a massive reason why, why I came to the Open University. And um, yeah, the expertise, the people that you work with, like, like you said, the, they're, they're world leaders in, in the fields, in the research. When I compare what others receive and what, what I receive studying here, just the overall support, you know, these are great reasons to, to consider um, studying at the OU. For me, it's um, been a, amazing to be an institution where interdisciplinary research is so natural and it's um, so much part of what is done here. I think the, the quality of supervision is incredible and the support they offer along the way. And I think that's, that's really what stands out to me as being the main reason why I would recommend it to others. The Open University is on the cutting edge of world-class research that, that's going on. What the Open University has done in terms of the European Space Agency and collaborations with that, particularly with Apollo at the moment, the, the, I say the level of research is world-class and it is outstanding. And to be here and to be part of that is phenomenal.